Hello everyone, so in this video I'm going to talk about converting between fractions, decimals and percentages. So these things are obviously related, they're all a certain amount, they're all basically like fractions. So you've got the, the fraction as in a half, so obviously you've got your pizza, you eat half of it, so you've got a half left. So, half of a pizza is the same as you know in a decimal as is 0 0.5 and as a percentage we know is 50%. So they're all talking about how much have we got of a certain thing. So how do we convert between them? Well there's a, there's a classic sort of question, okay what is a half? 0 0.5 then what is a quarter? 0 0.25, which is 25%. And then what is an eighth? Okay, a lot of people think, right, the only way to, to know how to do an eighth is to learn it. And then, and it's actually 0 0.125. So if you know that an eighth is 0 0.125, that's a really useful thing to know. And that will be 12.5 as a percentage but there is a sneaky way of if you can remember sort of little stories rather than remembering numbers which don't seem to relate to anything there is a way of doing this okay so imagine you've got an enormous pizza this pizza is so big it's got 1000 pieces of mozzarella on it. So we're talking a big pizza. I'm not going to draw them all in. So it's got 1,000 pieces of... Right, apologies for spelling. I don't actually know whether that's right or not, even though I do use this example quite a lot. So it's got 1,000 pieces of mozzarella on it. So what happens if we divide it into two? So each piece, each half, has now got 500 pieces on it. So 500 pieces, that is where the 0 0.5 bit comes in. So half of a pizza is 0 0.5. And then 50%, well, if you take off that zero, that's where the 50 bit comes in. Okay, why have I chosen 1,000? Well, you'll see in a minute. So if we then cut that half into quarters, into two quarters, we've got half of that. Now we've got 250 pieces of mozzarella. So that's where the 25, the 0 0.25 and the 25% comes in. If we then cut that quarter up again into eighths, we've got half of that, we've got 125 pieces, which is where the 0 0.125 comes in and where the 12.5% comes in. So that is 125 out of 1000 because each time you go, um, maybe our place value, you start off with hundreds, tens, units, you get your decimal point, that is your one out of 10, that is your or your tens, your hundreds, and that is your thousands. So 125 out of a thousand, which obviously divide 125 by a thousand, divide it by 10, you get 12.5, divide it by 100, 1.25, 1,000, 0 0.125. So 1 eighth is 0 0.125, which is 12.5%. Right, so that's how to work out an eighth, the mozzarella example. Right, I'm going to get rid of that now. So. These are really, we're looking at some typical questions you might get asked in SATS paper or 11 bus or even GCSE paper. So if we were asked, okay, what we need to convert three eighths into decimals and percentages, sometimes it's easier to, um, I don't know which is easier actually, probably easier to do this way actually. So sometimes it's easier to go to the percentage and then go back to the decimal. 
So 3 eighths is just 3 times 0 0.125. So let's just imagine it's 125 times that by 3. Well, you can either just know that it's 375 or you can do your column, um, column multiplication. So 3 times 5 is 15. 3 times 2 is 6 plus 1 is 7. 3 times 1 is 3, 375. So 3 eighths is going to be 0 0.375, and then that is going to be, right, if you want to convert decimals into percentages, you need to have two decimal places. So we put a zero on there, that makes that 50. We already had a five there, so, so that's 25%. We only, so the whole numbers in your percentage are the first two numbers in your decimal. So 0 0.12, so 12%, 0.5. 12.5%. So this one is going to be first two places 37, and then we put a decimal point, 37.5%. Okay, so we know that half is 0 0.5, which is 50%. A quarter is 0 0.25, which is 25%. An eighth is 0 0.125, which is 12.5%. Three eighths is 0 0.375, which is 37.5%. Okay, so probably know that one tenth is 0 0.1. So if we put another zero there, still the same value, I would just put it at 0 0.1, but just helping us to work out that first two decimal places, that is 10%. So easy enough to say that, well, two tenths must be 0 0.2, and that must be 20%, and then three tenths must be 0 0.3, which must be 30%. Right. Another common question you might get is, they might ask you, okay, what is one-fifth? Now, a lot of people think, oh, one-fifth, it must be 50%. Or 50% would be over here. So this is 0 0.5, 50%. Obviously, that's wrong, because one-fifth and one-half are not the same. So, not right, not right. But that's quite common. This Even this week, I've had quite a few people coming up with answers like that. And I've also dropped quite a few things on the floor this week. We won't use the blue pen again for this video. Right, so one-fifth, what we do, we're going to change that into tenths. So one-fifth is the same as two-tenths, because we had to double five to get ten, double one to get two. Two-tenths, easy now, we know it's 0 0.2, which is 20%. Right, obviously if we had something like three-fifths, We double the three to get six, so that is six tenths, which is 0 0.6, which is 60%. Right, fill up the board. Time is marching on, so it's time for the test. So make sure you've got your paper and pen or pencil ready. And I'll make sure I don't flip any more pens onto the floor while I'm rubbing these out. Okay, so we are converting fractions to decimals to percentages. So what I'll be doing, I'll be writing up the fraction and you'll need to convert it to a decimal and a percentage. So first of all, we have one quarter, our first one. Second one is one eighth. Remember the mozzarella. Third one is three fifths. And the fourth one is six twenty fifths. Okay, so don't know how far you would have got. If you haven't done them, if you haven't finished them all, just pause the video and then you can check your answers. So one quarter, remember that was, we divided the thousand into 50, I divided it again into 25, so that was, or 250 rather, so that is 0 0.25 as a percentage. First two places is 25%. Half of a quarter is an eighth, so half of that is half 250 is 125, so 0 0.125, which is 12.5%, not 125%, because that would be more than we started off with. Right, three fifths, change it into six tenths, so that will be 0 0.6, which is 60%. Okay, we didn't really cover this in today's video, but we've got to get that out of 100, of course. So six twenty-fifths would be 12 out of 50, we're doubling, and that would be 24 out of 100. 
So 0 0.24, or we might say 24 out of 100, that's 24%. And then we can go back to 0 0.24. Okay, so I hope you got all those right. Um, thank you for watching that video. Thank you for watching that video. And if you enjoyed that, please check out our website for more great online resources. So the address is www.routes2success11plus.uk or find us on Twitter at Roots to Success. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great videos. Thank you.